Hey YouTube, Derek here with another awesome Windwirler video. Today we got a really special game. We got Spore. Spore is probably one of my all time favorite games. Um, it's made by the same people that made The Sims and it is incredible. Oh. Spore is charming, it's uh, thought-provoking, <laughs> it's really, it, and it's kind of educational in a lot of ways too, I'd like to think. Essentially, we're going to start life on one of these unique little planets here, and uh, hopefully grow to slowly take over the whole planet. <laughs> so we're gonna pick one of these planets, and uh, so this one we got a little blue one here. We, we have basically we have this whole galaxy to explore. It's it's endless possibility for uh, our imagination, fun, adventure. We're gonna just pretty much create life on one of these planets and and just see where it goes. I guess try not to fuck it up. Basically, <laughs> let's see. This is sort of a kind of a deserty planet and some red reddish waters. This is sort of bluish with even more blue waters, blue, very blue waters and kind of greenery, kind of green waters, red landscape. I kind of like this one here, the red landscape and the sort of aqua, aqua green. There's a cool little um, lake right there. Uh, this is a blue one, a couple lakes, a lot of land. Unlike Earth, like there's a lot of land on these planets. Uh, not they're not quite uh, quite the same as our Earth, but uh, I think I like this one here quite a bit. As you can see, we have five different stages here. Now this game plays like so many different genres of games. It's kind of like Civilization when you get to like the later stages of the game. But uh, at the beginning, it's just kind of like a survival, which is really cool. Start at the very beginning. Nurture your own creation from its humble aquatic origins to its evolution as a sentient species in the epic journey of Spore. That is, that is epic. So we get to choose from uh, herbivore or carnivore. Obviously, yeah, they one eats plants, but one eats meats. Um, ideally, and I think this is the path that we're gonna take, is we're gonna try and be omnivorous. I think that's probably one of the best paths you can do in the game, because it can get you through it. I think trying to be fully carnivorous and like warlike throughout it is one of the most difficult ways to play the game. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna start as a herbivore, and this is our little guy. And uh, we'll play on normal because I'm pretty good at this game, but I also I don't want it to be so hard that we get stuck and the let's play comes to a grinding halt. Let's begin. Uh, oh shit, uh, okay, we gotta name our planet. Um, okay, well, hell, let's call it uh, Whirler. <laughs> um, so like Whirler's obviously like, kind of like a made up word that, it, well, it's not made up, but it's just a made up variation on the spelling of uh, Whirl. But uh, that's kind of my namesake for this, so um, let's say this is Planet Whirler. Let's take a look. There's our sun, our beautiful, bright, life-giving sun. And here we are, traveling on this stone, rocky, icy, sort of ship of some kind. And there's our planet, our beautiful jewel in this black, otherwise dark space. Oh, <laughs> and here we have it. <laughs> they call it panspermia. That's sort of the theorized, uh, one of the theories that explains how life kind of developed on uh, Earth. And it's one of the leading theories, but uh, I, I like it. I think it's a pretty decent idea that maybe like tiny little microbes could have existed, um, you know, in some comet just frozen after, you know, being thrown out of another planet's atmosphere and just finding their way here to Earth. But uh, enough about Earth. We're we're getting to Planet Whirler. <laughs> Welcome to the Tide Pool. Throat spore. The choices you make impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. Uh, this is your progress bar down here. 
Uh, as you eat, you will earn DNA points, which you may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. And that's the fun part. As you progress, you grow larger and your world expands. <sighs> okay, here we are. We are mobile. We have a little wiggly tail. The rest of our asteroid is sunk to the bottom of the ocean. So we can use our cursor here, which I think is how we're going to travel around. But uh, the idea is, since we're herbivore, we want to get these little tiny green algae things. And every little bit we get grows us a little bit larger and gives us uh, DNA points, which we can use to help us evolve and maybe get some better mobility here. So uh, these, little, these are little chunks of meat that if you're a uh, carnivore, you would probably want to be going for those. But uh, at this stage, it's, it's pretty simple. There's not much scary shit around. It's just sort of, you know, run around. I mean, swim around. <laughs> and uh, just kind of enjoy like the early stages of life. Oh, here we go. So now, we're slightly larger here. We got a few carnivores here and a couple spiky things. It could be spooky and we're bigger than these guys now. But we gotta be a little bit more on our tail here because uh, we don't wanna end up in the jaws of one of these guys. See over here is an absolutely massive one, which we do not want to get near that guy because he will mess us up big time. And we've got to watch out for these spiky guys too. But, uh, pop a couple bubbles and, oh, here we go. Other cells in meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. Uh, when you see the new parts appear, swim over to the token to collect it. All right, so that looks like uh, one of those spikes that we saw. Woohoo! Attack and break, okay, cool. So yeah, each thing sort of has a little effect, see? And there's also currents and stuff, which is kind of neat. We can kind of follow these currents. So it wants us to do the mating call, but I think what I'd like for us to do first is just collect a few more of these uh, green bits uh, so we can maybe get some more material and really soup up our, our cells so that you can kick some ass. And you really want to watch out because you don't want to get caught in a reverse current and then not be able to, uh, to to get away from one of those carnivores, right? So yeah, like following this, pretty good idea. Oh, well, this guy's eating everything. These little bloated looking ones. Man, these guys are taking up all the good stuff. Yeah, we definitely want to evolve soon, but let's get a little bit more food. Oh, you bastard. Survival of the fittest, as they say. Oh, that one seems pretty big. Get away from that, get away from that. Yikes. Okay, uh oh, uh oh. Yikes, 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 yikes. Ah. Okay, come on. All right, you know what? We're just gonna wanna evolve, because if we don't evolve, we will die. And that is, uh, that is a fact of evolution. <laughs> um, so here's our little mate. And uh, yeah, we play the females, which is cool. Now here is the, uh, the editor. So this is where things get really cool. So uh, yeah, you can change modes in any creator by clicking on the mode button all above. So basically this is just where you edit it physically and this is where you do the coloring. So, uh, But yeah, here we go. This is our little cell. Um, we've got a good amount of DNA points so we could probably soup them up with some good stuff. I want to take the these little, uh, these things here, which are the uh, feeders and maybe just spread those out like that and then we're gonna give them a jaw so now our guy is omnivorous which is good that took a lot of points though unfortunately um, maybe we could sell one of these eyes yeah that'll do because you can split this eye into two which I kind of like these this look a bit um, yeah I don't want to have like a super bulbous one I might even go a little bit thinner on this I may it'll make the mouth quite big on him Maybe get this thing bigger, yeah. All right, cool, so let's maybe shrink the eyes a bit. Kinda wanna, yeah, you know what? That's that's a little better, I like that a lot. Cool, and we'll m mess around with the color. I kinda like this sort of purpley bit, it looks pretty good. Um, but maybe we can mess around with some of it. Let's give it maybe some stripes here. I'll try and go back to the purpley color if we can. Yeah, you know what, that looks good. And that's kind of like Wind Wither's colors too, the purple and sort of light blue. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. Let's name this. Let's call it the, uh, the Windy, Windy Poo, Windy Poo. <laughs> that's good. Uh, sensitive, sensitive creature. Creature with a curi curious, with a curious nature. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, comma. This will be cool. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, we don't have to put too much thought into that. And uh, let's enter the world once more. So we have hatched from the egg. We have a few more abilities here to collect ourselves some sustenance. See, I think being omnivorous is probably one of the best ways to go about it because you're definitely being able to take advantage of most of the food. Ooh, gotta watch out for those guys. And we're entering larger sections of the water going from being microscopic to uh, slightly larger. Um, we're still sort of see-through right now at the level, but whoa, that's a giant squid guy. Oh, here we go. We're gonna be good at these things. So this is one of the best parts about being a herbivore is you can come across this and just literally feast, like tell your, your heart's content. And uh, scare off these other herbivores with our big ass uh, pincher mouth. And this is literally gonna fill us up. Oh yeah. Oh, let's get one of these. If we can get some of those, that would be good. If I can capture some of these, that would be good, because then we can use those to be a lot faster. Let's see, there's a couple of them around. Just gotta be, they're really fast, so I can't really catch them, but I'm trying to get to this. We can use our, our oh, okay, we better get away. We don't want to die, we don't want to die. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta just keep bumping it. Hiya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that, take that. Oh yeah. Oh, run, 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 run. Run away, we got the fins. We gotta call for our mate. Call for our mate. Oh, it's back the other way. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. All right. These fins are gonna be majorly helpful for us because it's gonna get us flying through these waters. Let's see, let's see. I'll stick that right here. Probably even just get rid of this bad boy. Maybe we can even just double up on these. Yeah, oh my God, we're gonna be fast as hell. Mm. Ooh, that looks really cool. Yeah, there's so many like creative ways you can like make these uh, cells in this game. Yeah, oh man, I quite like that. All right, uh, I think we're gonna be speedy and mobile. Windy Poo, this is Windy Poo, Poo. <laughs> that should be all right. Let's see, I hope we're gonna, oh man, I hope we just fly with these bad boys on. Oh man, look at us. Oh, nothing can stop us now. We're flying through these waters. Well, not flying like those guys are, but oh, gotta watch out for the poison. Ah, 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 no. Get away, get away. Oh, we're caught in the wrong current. Whew, whew, whew. Okay, okay. We live, live another day. If we can get to this here, it'll heal us up nicely. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. We must feast. We're doing pretty well so far. I, yeah, I'm usually dead by now, but oh, I don't want to speak too soon here. That guy's floating, it's pretty helpless. Oh yeah, that's all right. Get away. I think I'll eat one of these. Oh, there's one of our own here, brethren. Hello. Oh yeah, we're flying. We're just, I mean, floating, I guess, but we're floating at high speeds. Uh, Whoa, no! Oh, God! Our first death. Luckily, there are enough of our species to proliferate, and we we carry on the legacy in another, in another cell. So we're making our way here. Oh my God, that's the worst. Oh, that thing was huge. Damn, gotta be careful. Yeah, there's some absolutely massive ones. Look at that one way underneath us, the big purple. And these guys are so tiny now. Come here, you little guy. Come on. Get over here. <laughs> hey. Oh, sweet. I think that might... Oh, poison. That could be cool. Oh, gotta get away from him. Get away, get away. All right, let's follow this current, see where it goes. Yes, the ocean, it is vast, and it is filled with many, many different kinds of creatures. They say the ocean is, um, I think it's what, like 70% unexplored? It's, it's incredibly unexplored. And there's a good chance if there's any like actual extraterrestrials vi visiting this planet, they're probably going right into the ocean because, um, I mean, they're used to zero gravity and I mean, being underwater is kind of like being in zero gravity. So if my body was all like squishy like theirs, that would probably be my best bet. But um, yeah, we're definitely gonna get into some alien conspiracies during this Let's Play, you can guarantee that. Oh boy, all right, we gotta feast or we're gonna get killed again. We don't wanna get killed by one of these little guys, so let's 
Oh no! Oh, those little guys! They got revenge! Alright. We got two deaths. We gotta be careful, I'm a little reckless. I need some more defensive things. I think that's that's the, the major problem right now. Let me eat this little guy. Yummy! Oh, we're almost in the next ev evolution stage here. Uh, oh, another one of these little snacks. Yummy! Delicious. Delicious! Get one of those green things. Oh, get away. I'm so sick of those big bulbous spiky orange guys. I'm gonna get these things to go extinct, honestly. Oh! If we evolve again, I'm definitely putting spikes on this bad boy, because... Damn, these, these other guys are effective with their spikes. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> Just, like, fully eat these spiky guys now. Holy shit, that guy. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, that was really lucky. The electrocute... Thing. Those are um, some of the best counter or defensive things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call for our mate. So we're definitely gonna want to do some evolving. We just gotta find it. And God, this is a dangerous area. We're at a, we're at the stage now where it's getting really difficult. There is a lot of shit here that wants to eat you. At the, and I, I'm starting to be able to see the the sort of sands kind of almost. Of the, and it's also getting brighter too, which means we're we're getting closer to the surface. But uh, here, let's let's call for another mate. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Get a little snack on the way. Yum yum. It's nice to have a full belly when you're about to get it on. <laughs> oh yes, we have a ton, a uh, ton of budget here. Uh, mm, maybe like that. I think that's pretty decent. Yeah, I think I like that. Uh, oh, we can put some spikes on too. Okay, cool. We have enough for some spikes. <laughs> That looks pretty awesome. And uh, I still kind of like the coloration on that. I think we're going to stick with it. Um, this will be Windy Poo Poo Poo. <laughs> I'm 12 years old on, on the inside. Now we have power. No one's coming up behind us. If anybody does, they're getting shocked. Oh man, that guy's got a huge radius of electricity. We're gonna stay away from those guys, that's probably their specialty. I'm definitely a lot slower with our extra fins, but we're definitely more defended, so I think it probably balances itself out a little bit. Let's fill up here. Ooh! Yum, yum, yum. Oh, man! Gosh! Get away from me! Okay. Delish, delish. We'll get ourselves a little bit of greenery over here. Mmm, nice salad. Oh, oh, man! That was dangerous. Let's go eat this little, these little green guys. They look tasty. Oh, oh my god! That thing is aggressive. That is an aggressive thing with a lot of mouths! Oh man. Oh man. Holy hell. Oh my gosh, that little black smoke ball just created... It was like some egg and then it immediately got eaten. Oh god, there's so many things. Oh, thank... This electricity! Oh my, my friends, my friends! Help us, help us! Oh gosh! That thing is scary. That is a scary looking thing. Glad that we are away from this. But let's see if we can get some, some greens here. Fill up on greens. It'd be great if I could kill one of these speedy guys, because... Oh yes! Awesome! Oh my gosh. We are going to kill it with that speedy thing. Okay. So what I gotta do is just collect a little bit more DNA here. I'm gonna get this last guy here. Oh man, we're staying away from that red thing because those things are aggressive as hell. There we go. Call for a mate. All right. Oh, we're gonna do it in the mouth. Oh my god, it ate it ate the the husband. Okay, okay, that was very scary, very dangerous, but. Uh, uh, now, let's see what we can do here. Um, I definitely want to do the speedy thing. That might actually be pretty good. Oh, yeah, we can make these spikes even bigger. Oh, I didn't even think to do that either. Okay, so this is just like a... It kind of looks like a, a, a spiky dick right now, <laughs> to be honest. But I mean, it's really easy to make phallic-shaped things in this game, as you'll come to know. Yeah, I think I like the look of that a little better. And we'll put the spikes on like that. Can maybe make it super, super thick. Yeah, yeah, let's let's try this out. I have, I have a lot of faith in, in the look of this thing, but uh, it's definitely looking uh, very strange. 
Um, I guess we might as well add another poo onto this. <laughs> All right, and we have double the amount of radius too, and we'll also spike the shit out of things too if they come close. So we can just definitely mess these guys up. Oh man, it's a claw war. Oh yeah, survival of the fittest, bitch. <laughs> Yummy. We got our little brother in here. Oh man, let's fuck these little guys up. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> let's mess them up. Oh man, the red guy. It's all good, yeah. That's what you get. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious. Hey, quit poking me in the butt. Oh man, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> they think they can take me on. Oh, I'm literally invincible now. I mean, I don't think anything can touch me. Oh, okay, maybe that big guy. Oh, no, not even him. He's like, fuck that. <laughs> Peace is out. We are unstoppable right now. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever made a, like a cell this effective. I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad that my most effective cell is on camera for this let's play. I've played this game so many times though. I've restarted it, played it over. There's so much replayability with it because it's just such a creative game. Like you already see we get to make, like there's so many variations on the cell you can create. It's just, it's it, it boggles the mind, you know? Oh. Oh, uh, I grew a brain in my butt. <laughs> Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. Are we? Ooh, when it comes to swimming in sludge, you rule the pool. We sure do. When you are ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button. Congratulations! So at this point, we rule the seas. Um, we are at the top of the food chain down here. We can keep playing around, you know, eating a couple things you know, evolve a little bit more, but essentially we are we are untouchable down here right now, so I think it's time for us to really uh, stretch our legs, you know, like right now I can see the sands at the bottom we're pretty close to the shore, so I, I think we can do to evolve ourselves, so let, let's hit the evolve button here okay, okay, history, we love history history was one of my favorite classes in in school. <laughs> this is such a different let's play from my uh, previous one with uh, Marvel Nemesis. I was like losing my mind with that one. It was so frustrating. I was like fighting and killing. And... But uh, at these early stages, this is a lot more cutesy, you know, I'm having a lot more fun. And, and like, I feel like I'm a bit of a master at this too. So it's really good. Whereas in the fighting game, I, I had to kind of like relearn my stuff with it. No, I, I will show you guys the ropes for this. Uh, so here, anyways, history. This timeline shows a history of the actions you have taken during life as a cell. You have established a trait which earns you a new, unique ability that will benefit your future generations. Which path have you chosen? Let's take a look. So, emerge from the meteor, meteor, and it turns out that we're right on the edge here of being omnivorous, which is, that's a good thing, because it's kind of what I was shooting for. Our path here, we have a couple of our different little cell stages, generation one, two, you know, we, we try out a few different things here, a couple deaths, that was our first death. I think we really found our stride with this last sort of iteration of, of uh, windy poo 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 <laughs> So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Let's jump into our next stage of our evolution, shall we? Hey YouTube, thanks for watching another awesome Wind Whirler video. I'm having a lot of fun right now playing this game. Like I said, it's a childhood favorite. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this game, if you're interested in playing it, if you've ever played it yourself and what you think of it, or if you just hate what's going on here and you want me to go back and do some Marvel stuff or Transformers related things, let me know of that too because then it kind of gives me more of an idea of what to focus on here on the Wind Whirler channel. And if you like the video, like the video and subscribe if you love this! <laughs>